it's 10 to 5 I've finished work and I've got this section behind me it goes down to this roof level and what I'm going to do is I'm hopefully going to get to that window there as you can see that's the end of the roof so hopefully what is it long one two three four five six seven eight nine ten these are imperial say a two and a half meter section two and a half meters by two meters well it's at least two two point one let's try and get that done tonight and that is going to be a good night grinding just check this out so this this is what it looks like now <clears throat> And this is what they've over pointed with. Real hard and brittle, like hard, brittle stuff. And then that is the original up there. You can see it's gritty and limey and soft. So we're definitely going to have to do a lime mix for whoever. Whoever repointed this, they didn't grind anything off. They just pushed, they just pushed the new stuff, 4mm max, 3, 3mm three over the top. You'd have been better off just leaving it like that. If the whole house was just like that, I could live with that. But I can't live with it looking like this. So we'll carry on. And this is how far out we are now, let's have a look. Nearly all the perps done. We've done these beds down here. But uh, there's a long way to go. Let's carry on. And another tip, make sure you pull your extension cable right out or else you'll melt it. Yeah? No cable left on it. What a lovely view. Right, we're right at the top by the soffits and you can see that's the original finish struck and a bit of penny roll very nice shan't be doing that though i don't like that not for me so i'm reckoning there's about just under five square meters there and that's taken me just over an hour so we should be able to get this knocked off pretty quick. What I will say is, working in the dark ain't fun, it's scary. So don't try it at home. See you later, DIY. Keep it nice and easy. Hashtag, summer tells, save Right, that's it for tonight. So, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the cost that I charge for doing this. Depending on how hard the mortar is, always do a bit of a tester before you start the job. If you can, have a look how hard it is and then see if your blades will go actually in it. That's why I recommend have a little bit of a test patch. Depending on how hard it is and how many blades you're going to get through, I'd charge about 25, 20, 25, 30 quid a meter just for taking the mortar out. And then for putting back in, depending on, if it was just a half round joint, I charge 40 quid a meter for putting back in. So job lot, you're looking at 65 quid a meter. A semi-detached house like mine, you've probably got just over 80 meters square of brickwork to grind out and repoint. So you're looking at just under five grand. Uh between four and a half, five grand, call it. And then I wouldn't be doing it off a ladder. I'd be having a scaffold on top of that. So call it another five, six hundred quid on top of that. So, if somebody quotes you for a repoint on a semi-detached house and it's coming in under five and a half grand, then it's in a bad. If it's way above, then somebody's making some serious money out of you. And you can make money on what I've just said. 25 quid grind out. Uh, yeah, 25 quid. That's your medium. And then, like I said, 40 for put back in. Uh, and 
it's up to you whether you want to charge a bit for materials but the materials cost next to nothing come on even a bag of limes only 20 quid sand and cement's now you can make enough um so that is what i charge everything else is extra on top so scaffolds stuff like that that's all on top keep it nice and easy for the final time and tomorrow oh man what a day i've had today the mortar's just absolutely cack. I mean, stiff as a board. It doesn't matter what you do to it. Uh, I don't know why it's just been a change of silo. And I've had to go in and do a pre-plaster. And, and then a pre-inspection clean-out on another plot. And, oh, God, try and get going today. What a nightmare. So I ended up finishing work super late tonight. 20 to 4. Know what I mean? Keep it nice and easy, folks, gentlemen.